How's it going, everyone? Caleb here with Layton Gaming. We got a big one here for Michael M. It's gonna be a good time, man. So we got on the front here a couple of Charizard Chasers. Let me count these out for you. It's gonna be two Burning Shadows, two Evolutions, one in each bundle, of course, and four Shining Fates, two in each bundle. Then on the left, we got a Hidden Fate CTV, Burning Shadows Booster Box, and a Darkness Ablaze Booster Box. So we're gonna start with the Charizard Chasers, then we'll do Darkness Ablaze, then we'll do Hidden Fates, and we'll finish it with the Burning Shadows. Good luck, Michael. Should be a fun one, man. It's gonna be a great time, appreciate it, man. We'll see what we find for you tonight. Starting with two Charizard Chasers. Great choice. Yeah, there we go. Starting out with a shiny Dracovish. Very nice. Sick card. And double hitter pack right off the rip with a Delmice V. Nice. There you go. Yeah, lots of uh lots of Charizard chances here for Michael. Seems to be a trend, Michael. <laughs> and a Delmice V. Very cool. Looking for some Charizards, maybe. Good luck. I wrote him. Just use a little bit of hand sanitizer quick. There's some dust on those packs. Get it off. <clears throat> What's up, Rich? How you doing, man? Once again, man, appreciate that deal. Uh, Rich and I got a deal done for some MetaZoo over, over my day off yesterday. And I'll hit you up again tonight, Rich. I gotta look into one of those two cards that you sent to me. I wasn't familiar with it. I'll look into it, see what it is. <clears throat> see what it looks like and stuff. Where it's from. Uh, nice Nicket Reverse. And a Celebi on the rare slot. Luxio. A uh, third of the Shining Fates packs. Let's see what we got this time. Dreadnought Reverse. And a Frostmoth Hollow. Nice. <clears throat> breaks are good, man. Breaks are good. We had a pretty cool uh, triple booster box break with Burning Shadows, Ultra Prism, and Unified Minds earlier. That was a good time. Had some sick cards. Had a couple of, uh, not sure if you're familiar, Rich, but we had a couple of the square border Pokemon cards. Kind of nuts, man. We had two of them. Pretty, pretty tough to find those. They have, instead of the curved corner, the square cut. Like sports cards. Really, really rare error. So that was sick. More Pico and Dreadnought. Not bad. We just found a Golden Mew and Personals. We had the Leafeon alternate earlier. A couple of other nice pulls throughout the night, of course. Evolutions, Michael. Come on now. Good luck in the evolutions. Ooh, nice. Got a break card. Gonna be the Ninetales break. Nice. Got Wyatt the Charizard from Darkness to Blaze. Nice, Ryan. That's sick. That's sick, man. The, the VMAX or the V? Nice Ninetales break and a Dugong. There you go, Michael. Break cards, the only uh, only sideways Pokemon cards. Pretty cool. Dugong. Yeah, I know, I know, Rich. Yeah, I was informing everyone that there is indeed a market for this stuff. <laughs> Much like the crimped cards, the square cut cards as well, I would say have even a bigger market than the crimped. So yeah, it was pretty sick, man. Nice, Ryan, the VMAX. That's sick. We pulled one of those earlier tonight as well. For a first-time customer, Randy. That was sick. Good luck. I see something shiny coming up here. Ooh, sick reverse Machamp. Nice, Michael. And a slow bro EX. Nice evolutions pack. Good to see a couple of hits out of there. Very cool. Nice, Ryan. That's a sick one, man. It's got that big, full picture of the Charizard. That's one he's going to be happy to uh, pull out of his presence, man. All right, guys. Burning Shadows now for Michael. Two of them here. A little warm up to the booster box later. Why not? Get it warmed up a little bit. Yeah, any evolutions cards are sick, man. Tormenting Spray and Pasmussen. Um, all cards ship as well with the pack bundles, so we get all those evolutions base and stuff. They are all just sick, man, to see the reprints and stuff. Yeah, I was I was I was hyped when we pulled those square cut. That was my first time ever pulling any square cut, Rich. We've opened thousands of packs on the channel at this point, I would say. A Lowland Nine Tails and Electrive. So they are super, they are ultra rare at this point, you know. So it's just sick, man, to see any. All right, so those are the two Charizard Chasers. Not bad. 
Not incredible. Let's find something incredible in darkness, please. Booster box. Now to work on the right closet, the max salt. I feel you, Ryan. I feel you. Banner on the website. Is it the Black Friday one, Anthony? <laughs> I haven't checked it yet. Let me look. It's probably the Black Friday one. I know Rich said he was going to get it up there. Yep, there it is. Yep, a little bit of a tease, definitely. A little bit of a tease for Black Friday. But yeah, that looks nice. I like it. It looks nice. Really cool. But yeah, guys, like I said, the Black Friday deals will go live Friday, midnight Eastern. So definitely check it out then. Ooh, something here in the first pack of darkness. Nice, got the Sizor VMAX, pack number one of Darkness Ablaze. Yeah, it's it's really a nice one. Great first Charizard to get for someone. Nice, Sizor VMAX. Not sure if anyone saw my uh, Discord post that I made yesterday. I uh, went grocery shopping in the morning and they had some of the A20 um, Kanto tins at Walmart. I was very surprised to see them there. I must have been there shortly after the vendor or something because those are a pretty good find. If you guys are familiar, um, I did make a post in Discord talking about it a little bit. Paris Reverse and a Hi uh, Hippodon. Uh, they're really, really cool. They are the A20 Kanto tins. Um, they're like the mini tins, kind of like Celebrations has. Inside, you get a Evolutions pack and a Sword and Shield pack. I pulled a Mega Charizard out of my uh, Evolutions pack. The cut was so bad that it was good. The cut was so bad that it was good. So I was, I was pretty happy. Rookity and Galarian Mr. Ryan. Nice. So if you guys do ever see them, like I said, they're marked A20. It's kind of like a, like a little gnome thing in the Pokemon community. The A20 um, Kanto tins. They are stacked up with Evolutions packs. They're only nine bucks at the store, so. Pretty, pretty sick, man. Ah, V Brava and a Galarian Slowbro V. Nice. There you go, Michael. <laughs> For sure, Ryan. For sure. It's been a while, man. Larvesta and a Heat Ran Hollow. Nice. It's been a while, man, for sure. Yeah, so if you guys do ever see those A20 tins out there anywhere, um, a lot of people pass them up because they're not aware of the contents. But like I said, it's an Evolutions pack and a Sword and Shield pack, so really, really good value. Dedenne and Golurk. And there was a bunch of them at the Walmart. I decided to just grab one and picked a lucky one, I guess. Pretty happy. Hasmussen. And S Cavalier. Kangaskhan Reverse and a Bear Tick Rare. Nice. But that was actually my girlfriend's first uh, time pulling a Charizard out of a pack, so that was pretty cool. Her first time pulling a Charizard out of a pack. Certainly a cool feeling. Simiseer, Exceligore. Of course, Charizard at this point is pretty much like the, the face of Pokemon in terms of value. So, everyone knows Charizard for that. So, pulling your first Charizard card is always kind of a special thing. So, that was pretty cool. Of course, we ripped plenty of packs together, but I didn't even realize that was her first one. Skarmory and a Tapu Koko Hollow. Nice. I saved my luck for you guys on the channel. That's what I like to do. <clears throat> No, they're hit coming up. Gonna be the Vikavolt V there. Another card for you from Darkness Ablaze, Michael. See if we can find some rainbows. See if we can find some gold, some trainers. Maybe even the Charizard V Max, man. <clears throat> Good luck. Galarian Mr. Mime. Lugia on the rare. Sick. Powerful energy. Glimmer with Tangle and an Arc Dissolve Hollow. Nice. Ariados. Let's 
something coming up here. I think it's a trainer, maybe. Good luck on it. Yep, sure enough, gonna be full art trainer Piers. Nice one, another hit for you, Michael. Darkness ablaze, coming through with quite a few so far. Good to see. There you go. Piers, full art trainer, nice. Congrats, man, nice pull. Right along to the next pack. Tyranitar are in the reverse, very cool. Manectric. Lots of sick cards in this set. Charizard VMAX being the biggest, but there's a lot of other cool ones besides that. Some nice golds, rainbows, like I said. Uh, Fletchender on the reverse, and Gabielli. Uh, we do have one more booster box here right now. Um, I will stock that one a little bit later this evening. Tor uh, Torkic and the Volcarona. Alrighty, last one of half number one. We'll move on to half number two, and then we'll do the Hidden Fates, and we'll follow it up with the Burning Shadows booster. It's going to be a fun way to end it out, man. Lots of big stuff coming up. Uh, reverse Piers and a Kling Kling. Keep chasing some Charizards. All these sets have a chance. Every set in this break, man. Uh, Meltan, Reverse Hollow. Flygon on the rare. Larvitar and a Hollow Darkrai. Nice, Michael. There you go. Delcaddy, and another hit gonna be Galarian Stunfisk V. There you go. Gonna be for Metal, uh, the Metal type Pokemon there. Going to Michael, very nice. Uh, Vanillish. Guys, if you are just joining us tonight, remember guys, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is tomorrow in case you forgot. Um, we will not have a stream tomorrow, we'll be back again on Friday. Friday, we will be back with the Black Friday deals, guys. So, there are a little, little, little bit of a tease on the website now with the banner being up and stuff. And I'll show you again the website, guys, after this break, how it's looking right now. And where you can find the Black Friday deals as well. Talent Flame Rare. I'll give you guys a look after the break here. Ooh, that is sick. Lincoln Riley and Baker Mayfield, one of one from Flawless Collegiate on the Sports Card channel. I toss my sick in the chat there. That's nice. Sinisty reverse. Gaffielli. That seems like a pretty solid price present. Yeah, that seems like a pretty solid price. The nice thing is, um, um, just in general, a lot of local card shops present do use TCG Player, which is awesome because um, there's like a ton of sales data and stuff like that. So it really is like a pretty accurate source. But with that being said, a lot of the cards on TCG player are also usually like near mint. So if you're at the card store and stuff and you can look at the card, uh, Galarian Darumka, Golosopod Hollow, and you can pick out those really minty copies and stuff like that then, uh, you can certainly get some really good deals on stores that do use the TCG player price. Because sometimes those are a bit low. Um, like I said, when you do take into consideration that if you find like a really minty copy or something. But yeah, that, that's certainly a pretty good price, yeah. Usually closer to like 250, I believe. Ooh, sick one, the Butterfree VMAX. Nice. Didn't know what was coming up there. That's really cool. Nice Butterfree VMAX. Yeah, that's just kind of like, it's something for like all uh, gaming stores that, because it's very, very common present that gaming stores use TCG player for their uh, reference price and a lot of the times they'll just be looking at the average sales median which makes perfect sense but a lot of those cards are going to be near mint whereas if you're at a card shop you can pick out the mint copies which is awesome and it's something that the card shop owners also realize but that's one of the great parts about shopping at the business then they'll give you that little uh, benefit of the doubt or whatever Drake is alt rare 
and we pretty much do the same thing at our store so yeah it's, it works well for everyone really <clears throat> kind of a little cool perk struggle gloves and greetings it's a it's a perk for like supporting um card shops and stuff like that oh i bet ryan i bet man yeah over over outside of the united states as well ryan just anywhere man canada included even though that that's our nearest neighbor still is very tough i know one of our good friends of the channel luke he's over in the uk he he says it's very tough over there everything is outrageously priced um yeah for sure man dark cry reverse and a crowbat v dark type that's one of the reasons that we really do have um such an awesome thing on the channel with the free international shipping as well as domestic um, it really really does go a long way Baker Mayfield alert or something going on. Saw that, man. <laughs> <laughs> you on your <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get a little, get a little vibration, yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Granbull on the reverse hollow. And Toxtricity hollow, nice. Yeah, but certainly, man, that's, that's really one of the awesome parts of being able to offer the free international shipping is we can get the Pokemon cards out to you guys wherever you are, um, which is really awesome. Swan a reverse and a star raptor. <clears throat> so very lucky to have such an incredible shipping team to offer that for you guys. Cortese knows her stuff, man. Yeah, not just Pokemon as well. Great point, Sean. Great point, man. Incredible point, actually. Bear tick and Lipard. Um, yeah, that's another point, man. I know Luke was again saying how how pretty much it's impossible to get like metazoo in the uk right now like that's just not even really like a thought for most people it's that hard so yeah certainly man offering all the different tcgs flesh and blood um, Yu-Gi-Oh, all that stuff man and of course magic as well great point sean purloin and a grand bull yeah i i would probably agree with that ryan you should see it man in person sometime ryan if you do ever get the chance to make it down here to flora ryan going to Disney World or whatever, man, with the kids. Certainly, man, you gotta stop by the shop and, and check it out in person. It's incredible, man. It's a it's a full team operation. It's a well-oiled machine. How quickly the brakes get out. Laron Reverse, Serena. Not only how quickly they get out, but how quickly they get sorted, packaged, protected. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. It's one of the best parts of the entire Leighton business, for sure gold card coming up nice man there we go on the back of the box with the golden rillaboom boom nice man there you go michael golden rillaboom congrats one of the best hits from the set right there really sick card as well in his shiny form there the golden rillaboom very nice congrats Beautiful card. There you go. Yeah, and I would also like to, I mean, great customer support as well. Really, really great on that aspect as well. Great communication, <clears throat> fast communication, as fast as possible, of course. Nice, man, congrats. And a Rhyferior on the last pack. Nice. Pretty good darkness of Blaze Booster. Had a ton of hits for sure. And one bigger one there with the Rillaboom. Very nice, man. Had a full art trainer as well. Certainly a nice box. Let's get to the Hidden Fate, CTB. Save the Burning Shadows booster for last. Good luck. Let's do it, Michael. Yeah, they really do, Ryan. They really do, man. Like I said, man, latent gaming is literally nothing without the shipping team. <laughs> it would be actually nothing. There's no way I could ever manage all that they do. In terms of the shipping and stuff, sorting. So yeah, very thankful. There's the sleeves. Um, here's gonna be your sick promo, Michael. The Moltres Zapdos Articuno Stained Glass. Uh, Bird's card, man, really, really cool. There you go. There's the coat. Good luck, man, 10 packs here. You might be right, Presence. You might be right, especially if people, uh, especially if people that go to your LCS, uh, 
are pretty familiar with um, Metazoo. Yeah, they might be gone. You're right, man. Super hyped right now. Nice shiny Zerkatry. Very cool. First pack magic for you and a Clefable. Right off the rip, got a shiny Zerkatry. Very nice. Sick one, Michael. Very cool. Uh, Clefable is the rare in that one. And move a couple of these bulk cards quick, man. We'll keep it moving here uh, for you. On to these last two premium products. Premium product time. Good luck. Giovanni's Exile. And nice one again. Gonna be the full art. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Great start. Really nice on the Hidden Fate CTV so far. Congrats. Love the full art, Birds. Really looks nice with that silver background. Makes that blue and yellow and red colors really pop out. Nice, man. There you go. Great pull again from pack number two. Let's keep him moving. Number three. What else can we find? Atkins Reverse. Mr. Mime Rare. Not bad. Magma. Oh, yeah, Ryan. The mags, man. I agree, man. And eventually, we're going to get some latent gaming stickers as well with the sick, like, galaxy background instead of the black and gold. So those are going to be coming pretty soon here. I'm going to talk to Sarah about that tomorrow, if I remember. Lieutenant Surge's strategy and a golem. Actually, I probably won't even bring it up tomorrow on Thanksgiving. We'll keep Thanksgiving for just Thanksgiving stuff. I will bring that up, like, Friday or something like that. <clears throat> but yeah, man, that is certainly, certainly something to check out. Very nice. That's going to be the Hollow Water Energy and a Jesse and James Hollow. Pretty sick cards, Michael. Pretty sick. And the coat, of course. Grab that. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, Anthony. <laughs> it really is, man. Even, like, off the clock and stuff, the responses are sometimes that faster, faster. It's crazy. Wow, very nice, Michael. Shiny, gonna be the Charmander. Congrats. Really nice one here from the Hidden ETV. That's beautiful, man. Congratulations, Michael. This has been a great Hidden Fate CTB. See what else we got. Still got a stack of packs there as well. Sick card, man. Congrats. One of the best cards there in the Shiny Vaults. Uh, especially the Baby Shiny Vaults. Probably the best. Either that or the um, Eevee. It's between those two. <laughs> yes, sir, Ryan. Yes, sir. All right. Another hit coming up, I believe, here. Good luck. Very nice in the next pack. Full art shiny. Lucario. Congrats, Michael. What a great elite trainer box. Another beautiful hit for you. The full art shiny Lucario and a Blaine's last stand. That's so nice, man. Great box. Congrats on that one. Lane's Last Stand. Love Lucario. Such a sick Pokemon. Definitely need more Lucario cards in the future sets. Killing it on this one, like uh, Anthony said. Yes, sir. Uh, that's an Arbok Reverse. Another hit. Pinsir GX now. Why not? Grab another hit for the pile. Pinsir. There you go. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. All right. We got two more Hidden Fates packs. It's been a sick opening so far, man. Doing well in all the sets, really. Been great. Pokemon Center Lady. America's Hospitality. Appreciate it tonight, Michael. Hope you're having a good night, man. Last pack of the Hidden Fade CTV. Let's grab one more hit, man. Why not? It's been a great box. 
And a Mew Reverse. Not bad. Reverse Mew. Hollow Zapdos as well. Also not too bad. Pretty sick cards. Pretty sick cards for just a Reverse and a Hollow. Nice, man. Let's get to the Burning Shadows booster to finish it out. Big one here. Let's see what we can find. Best of luck on it. 36 Burning Shadows packs, of course. Chasing after the Rainbow Charizard GX. One of the uh, bigger modern cards that we are still looking to pull on the channel here. One of the bigger ones, for sure. Let's see if we can find it this break, man. Good luck. Crazy tough one to hit, but... Man, if you, pa if you do pack one and it's pack fresh, huge pull. Huge pull. Ooh, nice on the Acerola Reverse. Tan Growth Rare. All right. Good luck. This is going to be fun, man. More Sun and Moon uh, action tonight. The Burning Shadow set here. Lunatone. Hello, Sand Hollow. Very nice. Gonna be a good time. Panseer, Ladian. Of course, with the Sun and Moon sets, it's usually something around like eight to ten hits per box. Whereas Sword and Shield, I would say it's probably like something, or maybe I would say. Sun and Moon is like 7 to 9, whereas um, Sword and Shield is probably like 9 to 13 or something like that. So you definitely don't get like as many hits with the Sun and Moon sets in a box. But man, when you do get the hits, they are so beautiful and also certainly very valuable. Especially the minty pack fresh copies. It's the best part about it, man. Let's find some of those big ones for you out of the Burning Shadows set. Uh, Ralts Reverse, and sometimes the reverses as well, man. Just gorgeous cards. Toxicroak. Of course, with Sun and Moon, they've got a little bit different of a reverse hollow pattern um, compared to Sword and Shield sets. So, it's a really nice change on some of the cards, and they do look fantastic. Hit coming up in this one. Good luck. Electabuzz. And there you go, starting out with the Machamp GX. Sick one there. Kanto Pokemon Machamp. Very nice. Been pretty good, Dan. Been pretty good, man. We had um, a couple of square cut Pokemon cards earlier, Dan. Had a couple of square cuts on the corner. It was square cut instead of the circle. Kind of crazy, man. Really, really rare hits. Um, and then it's been pretty fun so far. We've had some sick ones in personals. Just had a shiny Charmander. Had um, a golden Rillaboom. Had a golden Mew earlier. Yeah, I was super happy about the square cuts, though. Super, super rare. Like, very rare. Beware. And nice, man. One of my favorite cards from the set. The Alolan Muck GX. Fantastic colors on this one. Nice, Michael. Certainly a good one to have for the collection. There you go, man. Really nice. Congrats. Love that one. One of my favorites in the set. Yeah, it, that's, it is some fires. You're right, Dan. <laughs> You're right, man. We've opened plenty of packs, and that was the first time ever seeing them here on the channel, so really cool. Uh, Palo Sand on the Reverse Hollow, and a Slow King Rare. Nice. Yeah, definitely a super, super rare error. Got, like, that square sports card look. So weird looking as well. <laughs> and they've got a huge collector's market. So pretty cool, man. Tangrowth on the reverse solo and a Weevil on the rare. So they were out of uh, Burning Shadows. In the triple booster break. Uh, there's another Pikachu. Pikachu reverse. Very nice, Michael. Half of it. Half of it, Dan. Half of it was the and the Deancey on the hollow. Yeah, it was the left half, top left and top uh, bottom left. Both were square cut. Half of the card. <clears throat> Pretty nuts, man. Like I said, we've never found any on the channel. Yeah, I know, Dan. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. The half cut was more rare. I thought so, but I wasn't 100% sure on that. And it's kind of crazy because I don't even know how that can happen. Like, literally, how does that happen? <laughs> 
That's crazy to think about that part. There's a Charmander, Woo Buffet, and Scolipede Rare. Yeah, it's it's nuts, man. I magged up both the cards so I could grab some pictures and stuff to post on the uh, Instagram later. Yeah, I thought so, Dan. I thought so. The half cut. Just so cool as well. Boofalance reverse. Yeah, I, I know, Anthony. Like, what the heck, man? Uh, Butterfree rare. Like, actually, like, what the heck? What is happening with the machine <laughs> that it causes that to happen? Nuts. So nuts. Ooh, something coming up, man. Best of luck to you. Very nice. Gonna be a full art trainer. That's Kiawi. Or Kiwi. Never sure how to pronounce this one, but such a sick card. Nice. There you go, Michael. Check out the texture on this one and the foil. So nice. Congrats, Michael. Very, very cool. Esmer and Omarica dice in the gold card. <laughs> the go-to button when I don't know how to pronounce it. Very nice. Congrats, man. Yeah, they're so sick, and there's just so many as well, Anthony, to collect. So many people, man, love to just collect full art trainers as well. Yeah, they, they have such a different, um, like, texture and pattern on them, Michael. All of the full arts and better in the Sun and Moon sets compared to Sword and Shield. And I would agree, they look fantastic. Weakness Policy and Heracross. Good start, man. Good start for sure. We got a lot more packs still. Alolan Rattata, Azumarill. Yeah, that's what I've been saying as well, Dan. Some of the reverses look fantastic with the Sun and Moon sets. Yep. So definitely do not sleep on the rares. Uh, reverse rares especially, and then, yeah, some of the rares as well just look great. The rare hollows. Like a Pikachu reverse is a really nice card. Azumarill reverse and Electros. Certainly something are gonna look that people are gonna want to look back on eventually and they're gonna realize, oh man, that's a sick card. I'm gonna want one of those. 100%. Got the Simapore and the Hollow Vileplume. Love this one. Running through the jungle there. Sick Kanto Pokemon for you, man. And the Sun and Moon sets as well, like I said earlier. They have a ton of the Kanto Pokemon. Um, just generally speaking with the Sun and Moon sets. Ton of Kanto Pokemon throughout them. And some of like the second and third evolution Kanto Pokemon, which is sick. Another hit coming up. Gonna be the Darkrai GX this time. Nice, man. Darkrai there. Very cool. Congrats on that one. Really nice there. Darkrai GX. Next uh, stack. Last half of the booster. 18 more packs. Good luck. Halfway through. Lowland Vulpix Reverse Hollow. Bruxish on the rare. Acerola. Rhyhorn Reverse. Rhyfurior Hollow. Very cool. Nice. <clears throat> Next one right away. Gloom Reverse. And a Persian on the rare. Alright, what else we got? Menipede. Pasmussen. Magikarp in there. The reverse rare Heracross. Not too bad at all. Nice reverse. And Azumarill. Pretty solid. Nice Heracross there. Let's keep it going. Wishful Baton on the reverse hollow. A pretty good amount, Dan. Lucario hollow. 
pretty good amount. Let me see where the queue is at right now. Um, so there's two booster boxes for Clyde in there. Yeah, probably about an hour's worth right now, man. Probably about an hour's worth. Nice hollow Lucario there. Very cool. Had the full art shiny and hidden fates, man. That was sick. There's the hollow from Burning Shadows. Yeah, let's see it, Ryan. Let's see it, man. We still got a stack of packs left. About probably uh, eight more or so. Good luck, man. About an hour or so, uh, Dan, I would say. Dusclops. And going to be the ho -O GX. Very nice hit. Gorgeous card again. ho -O. Nice one, Michael. Congrats on that. ho -O GX. Uh, so we're going to have... No problem, Dan. No problem, man. So it's going to be going live uh, on Friday at 12 p.m. midnight uh, Eastern time zone. Um, we're going to have a 10% coupon that's going to be available for everything on the site that is not a special clearance deal or like a black friday deal and then we are going to have a separate section on the website which you can currently see right now where we're going to have all of our um, black friday only specials there's going to be a couple of like buy one get one free products um, we're not actually revealing what they are yet but you will find those on friday and then like i said anything that is um, not in that category is going to be 10% off uh, will be eligible for the 10% off coupon. So really everything on the site is technically on sale. Bodybuilding dumbbells and Araquanid. Uh, but like I said, those super deals or whatever you want to call them, those will not be eligible for the 10% coupon, but those are going to be much more than a 10% discount that's going to be uh, coming off. I can assure you of that. So yeah, we will have those released on Friday. Going to be pretty, pretty sick, man. Lots of them coming. Uh, for a couple, all the different TCGs as well, really. Soul Rock and Beware. Nice. Keep it going. See what else we got. Ladybug and Turtonator. Yeah, correct, Dan, correct. Yep. And I'll give you guys a look at the... Like the different changes. Ooh, rainbow here, I think. Good luck. Nice, man. Got the rainbow. Necrozma GX. Very sick. Congrats. Rainbow Necrozma GX. Very nice. Um, not this time around, I'm pretty sure, Dan. Not really going to be any like crazy group break deals. Um, with that being said, though... Um, the next round of group breaks that I'm going to list tonight after work uh, for Saturday and Sunday, they're going to have updated pricing, Dan. Uh, the price is going to be a little bit lower on some of them as sealed prices have come down on certain things. So they're not going to be like direct Black Friday deals, but they are going to be like discounted based on current market. I'll be updating those for Saturday and Sunday. Very nice, man. There you go, Michael. Really sick cards coming out of this break for you. Tough to hit the rainbows in this set, man. Congrats. And the Crosma GX. Really nice. And then probably like next year, Black Friday, Dan, we'll probably have like group breaks and uh, rippets and shippets in the deals. This year, yeah, mainly going to be focused around the rip it and ship it. Um, of course, though, if you do use the 10% off coupon, um, I believe that's going to stack with group breaks, though. I, I will confirm that with Rich. But I'm like 90% sure that the 10% off coupon will be eligible for the group breaks. So technically you can still get them on sale. But no like direct group break sales, if that makes sense. Cutie Fly and Electro. So that's still pretty big, um, getting the 10% off. As you know, pretty, pretty positive that they will be eligible for group breaks as well as rip it and ship it. I'll confirm that tomorrow morning. Not gonna bother Rich at 11. But uh, I will confirm that in the morning. And I'll send an update to like, um, I'll send an update to the Discord. And then I will also will make that uh, very clear in the coupon description and stuff. Nice reverse Electric. And a Hollow Kingdra. Nice, Michael. Some sick cards here in Burning Shadows for you, man. Been a fun rip. 
really fun. All these sets, honestly. Hidden Fate's one of my favorites. And anytime you can get your hands on one of the rainbows or a trainer from Burning Shadows, really, really good stuff. Golden Rillaboom was also nice, man. Metapod and Heracross. And we started out with some six shinies as well from those Charizard chasers. Even had some evolutions hits for you. Been nice, man. Very well-rounded break. Uh, Rhyferia Reverse and a Crab Abominable. Had the Charmander, of course. Palladian Reverse Hollow and a Bruxish. Two more Burning Shadows packs. Good luck. Wiki on the reverse. Dusknor on the hollow. Pretty cool. Nice. There you go, Michael. Last one, Burning Shadows. A sea Viper reverse and a Mudstail on the back of the Burning Shadows booster. Appreciate it, Michael. That was a Burning Shadows booster, a Darkness Ablaze booster, a Hidden Fade CTV, and two Charizard Chasers, man. Thank you very much for the order. We appreciate it. We'll get the cards protected and right out to you. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Appreciate it.